fix. More than 13 years after an EKU student went missing, a judge has formally declared her dead. 23-year-old Molly Dottillo was last seen on July 6, 2004 in Indianapolis, and no one has ever been arrested in connection to her disappearance. LEX 18's Claire Crouch spoke with her sister today. Claire's here with the LEX 18 Big Story at 6. Nancy, Kevin, it's that date of her disappearance, July 6, 2004, that the Indiana judge declared the last day of Molly Dottillo's life. Since then, it has been a long road, largely void of any answers or closure for the family. I'd never imagined that it'd be 13 years and we still really have no idea where her body is. 13 years down the line with little to no more information than they had when Molly first disappeared back in 2004. You just kind of know, I mean, in your heart that you may never have it resolved. Molly, an avid runner, was a student at EKU back then. She was home for the summer in Indiana taking classes when she disappeared without a trace. You just want some closure because we do feel like she's been deceased. I mean, probably really soon after she disappeared. Just this week, her eight siblings and mother signed the order declaring that Molly, the baby of the family, was indeed dead. The thing is, we felt like she's been deceased for quite a while. Celestra Dewey says this order was more a formality than anything else. She says over the years, her family has worked to maintain their sanity and have dealt with Molly's disappearance in many different ways. My mom still takes us out for ice cream on her birthday, and we tell our favorite Molly stories. But Dewey says 13 years later, they're trying to hold on to hope. They want to bring Molly home. And most of all, they want to bring the person or persons responsible to justice. This is just one more step to kind of close that, you know, chapter in our lives. Now, the family did win a $3.5 million civil judgment against the two men they believe were responsible back in 2010. And in 2007, Molly's Law was enacted in Indiana, outlining procedures for handling missing persons cases, especially within the first few days of a disappearance when time is most crucial. Kevin, back to you.